Hey, so in the last episode we played against our current AI, the alpha beta search. Uh, we lost, <laughs> even though we took one of the moves it recommended us to do while saying that we are ahead, which was um, in this state. It told us um, if we play 3-1, it would have a minus 12 outcome for the AI in a depth of 8. Um, then we played 3-1, so... Uh, we play 3-1 and um, that's actually in this state. Uh, no, let's let's go with this state anyway. Um, but suddenly as we moved into the state it tells us oh actually I'm quite ahead. <laughs> so even looking down to depth 12 now because it's probably such a good move that there's a lot of cutting off happening. Um, so what we're gonna do is we will copy this. So Let's, um, let's go here, copy this in our game. This is how we specialize our game. Oh, ah, this is ugly. Nope, this is from a different video. Oh, is there no way of copying this? Okay, then let's remember. We have, we have, we have three, one, three, four. Three, three, one, three, four, and zero, four, one, three, zero, four, one, three, and from the bottom, zero, four, three, three, zero, four, three, three, and four, zero, three, four, four, zero. Three, four, and players is uh, two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, 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 no, zero, no, this one is two, one. Yeah, must be this. Okay. Looks good. And uh, actually, and here is this turn of player one. And then let's see uh, what Perft tells us here. Um, minus 14. Is this also what we saw here? Yes, so it's zero, 02. Minus 11, three seconds, 19 seconds here. Okay, this is also still good, 20 seconds now because we did some additional searching. And now let's see what it will tell us in depth nine and 10. I'm curious. Because if it doesn't reach the same conclusion, then maybe we have a bug somewhere, which would be interesting to see. And even though we wanted to move on, I actually thought maybe we should refactor this board a little bit. We can probably make some of the functions a lot less heavy. Um, another thing I would really enjoy is see if we can make the console output more or less animated. So if you top over a box, it will propagate uh, deleting the same input that it will propagate um, take every second or so. Hmm. I think this is also going to be a very short video. I just want to check this. In order to implement Monte Carlo tree search, I still have to to read up on how to actually implement it. I I kind of know that you uh, you go down a game tree. So initially you have the root node, and then you pick one move more like let's say at random um, you pick one move at random and then you randomly play out the game until the end and figure out whether you win or lose and you do this a couple of times let's say 10 then you figure out by doing this uh, and randomly playing the rest of the game you 
uh, win two out of ten times, something like this. And you store this information. And the next time you uh, again pick a node at random, but this time you pick the uh, you pick the moves according to the win chance. So we have one move now that we know we win two out of ten times, and the rest we don't know. So uh, they get the rest of the some rest of the probability. Um, and then you, you pick another move, maybe you pick the move that you already chose, then you uh, have a go down one, one step further in the tree. Like, uh, so you play this move that you already played before and then you pick a random move down where this uh, ends up and also play randomly until the end. This sounds maybe complicated how I explain it now, but uh, if we implement it, it will make sense, but I need to check on the details because I'm not I don't quite remember on how you uh, propagate back the probabilities and uh, as we saw with the, or maybe I didn't even have it in a video, but as uh, I tried with the quiescent search, um, this game can go almost endless because there's just, uh, you top this over, I top that over and we're basically in the same state as before, uh, which is interesting. I should look into this again, but yeah. This took a hundred seconds, so I guess the next <laughs> next step takes a lot longer. Oh no, here we are. And it is minus eleven, so this is interesting. So somewhere we cut off the the version uh, of the tree where we um, where we actually win this given that our opponent pay, plays 3-1. But if our opponent actually reacts with the 3-0, let me see, what is 3-0? 3, zero? three zero. Hmm? We play 2-0, two, 2-0. Zero, two, zero. Yeah, and if our opponent tops is over, which was the move that I actually wanted to make, then everything is fine. It seems. So mm. this is a little bit funny, but we would need to see where this this tree ends up in depth eight. Um, I mean, we can can check it by just checking what he's doing here. Two zero three one three 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 three. Topping this over is exactly what he did before. Three three one zero would be the answer to that. One zero is the answer here. Mm, two three two three two three playing here. Okay. Zero zero which is increasing this one. Ah, yeah, so uh, we actually, three, two, three, two. Then he's topping this over, which doesn't make sense. One, one. And this would be good for, good for me. This is interesting. So we should, we should dive into this line because here, instead of going for the long game and not topping over, he actually chooses to uh, throw this one over. So if you well, if you remember back in the game, uh, I played here, he played here, which is exactly the same as the line predicted. And then I play here, which is exactly as said. And here he says he's winning because now he sees that he will play just where it doesn't matter that much, for example, here. But in, in this line, he assumes that he will play 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. And I answer with 1-1. One, one. Instead of him just playing 
whatever, one, three. I wonder what my answer to that would be. Hmm, how can we debug this? This is uh, not so easy. Maybe I can implement uh, a search to depth eight, where if we are in the last uh, two depths, uh, actually where we, where we search exactly this line, maybe we can fix this and then print out all the scores that he finds down here. But I think we're gonna do this in a separate video. Um, okay. Did he find 11? No, 11 is too, too deep. Okay, then uh, I will think about how to do this a little bit uh, so that it's not a drag uh, watching me do this and then I will see you in the next next video.